We're going to walk you through an example where leads are being generated through social media advertising on LinkedIn. And then what we're going to do is import those leads into MailChimp to do automated emails to nurture those leads. This is one of the most proven methods for profitable customer acquisition. Generate the leads, nurture the leads, and then the nurtured leads become paying customers. So here we are in the LinkedIn lead generation ad campaign. You can see I have uh, various ad formats that are designed to generate leads. So this particular one, free instant access generated three leads. We have another one uh, with the same item, but I'm highlighting free and instant download that generated seven leads. And uh, we have a, a third variant here. And then the, the one that we're currently live with is this here. So we're promoting this image with the description and then people hit download, they put in their email address and hit submit. So the key thing here is the engagement is kept within the social media platform. We're not sending them to a landing page or anything and we're not sending them to a MailChimp landing page. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna get notifications that you've received leads. So what we'll do is we'll download that lead and we'll call it leads today. So that's a CSV file. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into MailChimp and we're gonna go down to all contacts. We're gonna to go to add contacts and import contacts. And we're gonna upload a file and hit continue. Browse. We're going to put in that file that we just uh, downloaded from LinkedIn. Continue to organize. Select a status, they're gonna be subscribed. Continue to tag. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tag that new lead as SAS tip sheet, because that's what they requested, the, the SAS tip sheet. Continue to match. And then it's gonna have all their information and it's gonna have an email at the bottom on the, the, the rightmost uh, column. Okay, so what we did was we just added a new contact, hit complete import, done. So every time I import a lead and tag that lead as ta uh, SAS tip sheet, they're gonna automatically be sent an email. And what I'm using is I'm using the uh, old fashioned automation that's available within MailChimp relying on the tagging system. So if you go to all campaigns, you can see various camp email campaigns that I've set up. The one that we're most interested in is this one called email subscribers when they're tagged. So let's take a look at what's happening here. You can see that this is a workflow email and it's sent immediately after a tag is added to the contact and the tag is SAS tip sheet. So you could set a delay here and you could say three days, three hours after their tag, they're gonna automatically be sent this email. Uh, I just have it set to immediately. To see what that email looks like, we can go here where it says view report to the right of it, hit the arrow and click edit. And we could make some changes here. We could hit pause and edit. And I could say that instead of immediately, uh, maybe we want to change it to one hour or one day or a week or two weeks, whatever. I'm going to hit cancel. Now, to actually see visually what the email looks like, we can go in here. You can see that this is the email subject. This is the preview text. This is the from name. Hit next. We can see the template itself. I'm using this basic education template. Hit next again we can see what the email looks like. So I have this little banner image with my photo. I have a, some, a title here. I have the body text. I have a link. I have a coupon. I have a signature and I have a call to action button. Best practices with these emails is to send an entire sequence. So you might have, say, 7, 20, 30 emails. Maybe they're going out once a week or eventually once every couple of weeks. And you always want to give people the option to jump to the last stage, which is usually buying your product or requesting a call with the sales team. So the focus of this email, it's not particularly long, but the focus is education. I'm just teaching people how they can acquire SaaS customers. 
And then at the bottom is a little bit of a sales pitch. So that's generally the process you want to follow. Provide educational, useful, applicable information that helps people achieve their goals, their desires. And then at the bottom, have that thing where they can talk to sales or buy your product. And you just keep nurturing them that way. Now, once in a while, you can send an email that is a very aggressive sales pitch, like buy now 50% off. Uh, but generally, you, you want to focus on the the education route, not the the salesy route. Um, you know, kind of a rule of thumb might be for every three or four educational emails, you send one that is an aggressive sales pitch. Uh, but within embed it within every educational email is the option for people to skip to the bottom of the funnel and buy now.